Hi everyone. Today we are going to take a look at Active Directory groups and how to set them up and use them to manage your security and your resource pool inside of Project Online. So to start, I am in the Microsoft 365 Admin Center. Um, you do need to have privileges in, at the O365 or Microsoft 365 level to get here. Uh, usually this is the IT department or somebody who has those abilities to, to add users and license them as well. I can click on my waffle and I can see admin here, which lets me know that I do have at least some privileges in the admin center. I've clicked here on my active groups. So I'm looking at all of the groups that I have in our environment. And to set up security groups, those do need to be classified as a security type. Um, I do already have some here set. So if I want to filter for security, you can see I do already have several groups here defined for project online that I can use to sync and add users to. So if I need to add a brand new group, uh, this is the very first setup for project online. You can click on add group from here, choose your group type. I'll have mine be a security group and you'll see that your options do decrease uh, with that. So I'll go ahead and click next. I'm gonna go ahead and name my security group. Especially if you have a lot of applications that have security being managed through your Microsoft 365 Admin Center, I usually recommend that this say what the platform is going to be. So Project Online, I'll put that in here. And then the name of the group. So inside of Project Online, I'm gonna switch over here for just a second. If I go to my server settings, there are many groups here by default that you can use. Each one gives different privileges. It tells the users what they can do, what they can see within the tool. I can come down to my manage groups here and I'll be able to see all of the default security groups. You can see mine are already synced over here, um, but each group here is defined at a different level. If you do not see this section here for security, you do need to change your permission mode, which um, we can put a link in to the body of this uh, video. So I'm going to come back to my admin center here. And so I'm going to create a new group for project online, and I am going to set this one up specifically to be for project managers. So I'm going to say what the platform is, what the group is that I'm going to sync to. You can add a description if you'd like to. Then I'll go ahead and click next, review and finish. And then I can go ahead and create that group. So if you are doing that one time setup to set up all of your security groups, you can go ahead and click add another group and add in all of the rest of the defaults or any custom security groups that you have looked to define. Come back here to my filter, go back to security. And that new group that I created does now appear under that security. So if I wanna start adding users to this group, I can do that. So if you look at the different security groups that I already have set up here, you'll see that most of them do have the role that I just showed in Project Online. I have an all access project manager, portfolio manager, and so on. The only group that is that exception is this resource pool group right here. This group controls a different part of Project Online, um, which we'll swap gears over there in just a second, that determines if the resources in this group can be added to projects and tasks as a resource. So I can, if anybody is in this group, I can add them to the task. One recommendation that we make when setting up your security groups is that you create a hierarchy of groups. So your resource pool group I'm going to click on it here to look at the members. The members of this group are the other security groups that we have set up. This helps to streamline your process. If you need to add somebody to your project managers group, for example, I can add them into that group, which since it's syncing to project online, will grant them permissions, the proper permissions in project online. But at the same time, it'll also add them to the resource pool within project online. So that way they can also be added to tasks once that sync takes place. And having this manage your security benefits, usually your IT department in that it helps to streamline the process. A user comes on board, they need access to Project Online. So the first thing that they'll need is a license. 
they will need a license to be able to get in. And the second thing that they will need is access to that project online environment or site collection. And these Active Directory groups here are one way to manage the security to give them that access. So when I come back into Project Online, I can come to my server settings here. And again, there are two different Active Directories that we want to sync. One is security. These are the Active Directory groups we set up that have the role at the end of them. We have our project managers, our team members, uh, usually administrators. Um, I do not sync myself because I want to make sure that if I'm an admin in here, I will always have an admin. Somebody in IT can't take away my access just by removing me from that group. So usually admins, I, I don't sync. And you can see in this group that there is a group here for Active Directory group, and these do reference all of the different ones that were set up in my admin portal. And it will give me a last sync date. Your Active Directory will sync with Project Online automatically at least one, uh, once per night. Um, it's a time it's, it's predetermined, um, but it will happen usually every night. So if you add somebody during the day today and they need to get access then they, and you add them to the group, then they will have access when they log in tomorrow. You can force the sync if you do need that to happen a little bit sooner. Um, and I'll show you how to do that. But by default, it will happen every night. So I'm going to click into my project managers group. And there is a section in this form called Active Directory Group. And here is where I have listed that security group that we set up in the admin center. I am going to just delete that here. If I need to enter that group for the first time, I can just start typing in the security group. Um, so I did have one here that was already set. And I also have one down here. Uh, I thought I had one down here. Oh. And then we just created a new one for Project Online. So you, I will have two available to mine here because I just created one for the purposes of this video. So I'm going to go ahead and choose my original. So I'm going to choose my um, Project Online for Project Managers. And when you do put in your group, you'll see a message pop up down here. And this will stay here as long as you have an Active Directory group saying, and this message tells you that if this group is synchronized by Active Directory, then you don't have the manual ability anymore to add or remove users from this group. All of that is going to be driven from Active Directory. So I can go ahead and click Save. And once you have all of your groups set, then there is an option right here for Active Directory Sync Options. So I can go ahead and click here. I can enable that synchronization to take place every night. If you do not have this checked, then it will not happen every night. And this is also where you can come if you do need to force that sync to take place. So I can click my save and synchronize now. You do need to do a refresh of the page to see that last synced update occur. So you can see my last synced update now updated with the timestamp of right now. And if I did have a user that needed access, I could confirm they were in the group just by clicking in here, looking at the users list, and then you can reach out and say, you should have access, please try, please try to log in. Now, if you do have your Active Directory groups embedded, then when you did add a user to that project manager group, and I have my resource pool synchronization in place, they will also be added to the resource pool so I can add them to tasks if I'm building a project plan and I need to make sure to assign tasks to the appropriate person. So there is a separate place on the back end for synchronizing your resource pool. Your Active Directory resource pool synchronization here, and you can see all of the options here, which there are not very many, are entirely related to syncing the resource pool. So I created, I entered in my security group that I set up at the admin portal level and it lets me know the last status that it did successfully synchronize on a little bit earlier today. And then you have the option here, which you also have for security to automatically reactivate any inactive users if they're found. 
The resource pool also, if you do need to force that manual sync, it does need to be resynced also because you could grant somebody permissions by forcing that sync, but they're not added to the resource pool and until this synchronization takes place as well. So you can add your group in there. Go ahead and click save and synchronize now. And if you were to come over to your resource center right now, then you will be able to see the full list of all of the resources that have access um, or that have been added to your resource pool here. Um, you can also add resources to be in those groups, even if they do not have permissions to log in or have a license. So if you want all of your team members to show up here in your resource pool, but at this part in your deployment, you're not looking to give them a license to log in directly, you can still add them there. You can still add them at the admin portal level to the different security groups, still sync them over. They will pull over here along with their email addresses and any of the other information that you have captured in Active Directory. And it'll pull over here to the resource center. So I hope you enjoyed our short video on how to set up Active Directory groups for Project Online. If you have any questions or you want more information, uh, please reach out to us at info at Have a great day.